Perfect. Ok, so, un cordial saludo para todos aquellos que están en este momento ingresando a la sesión virtual con The University of Essex. Mi nombre es Ángela Sánchez y desde el programa de Consejería Académica les damos la bienvenida en esta sesión virtual que vamos a realizar. Eh, la idea y el propósito de estos espacios es que ustedes puedan pues, aprovechar, conocer información sobre la universidad, poder realizar preguntas si van surgiendo a lo largo de la presentación y finalmente pues, que puedan tomar una decisión de si elegir o no esta universidad para hacer sus estudios de posgrado en el exterior. Les recuerdo que Colfuturo tiene un convenio con la universidad en el cual le ofrece una beca del 100% a un estudiante de una maestría uh, que, no es que no sea investigativa y un 10% de descuento para cualquier otro beneficiario de Colfuturo que no reciba el 100%. Entonces, sin más, los invito a que estén muy atentos, a que realicen sus preguntas y Kelly Álvarez, que es la representante de la universidad para Latinoamérica, pues es quien nos va a estar acompañando hoy. So, Kelly, thank you so much for doing this and for your time. And if you want, you can start right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so, yes, thank you for having me. As mentioned, my name is um, Kelly Alvarez. I'm the International Officer for the Latin America region at the University of Essex. Um, that basically means that I help students from Latin America through the application process um, from kind of like the first contact with the university right up until their first day when they register as a student of the University of Essex. Um, just to give you a bit of an overview about this presentation, it shouldn't last more than about 20 minutes. I'm going to talk a little bit about why sh you should study in the UK. Um, I'm going to talk about the University of Essex, um, student life and also um, scholarships and our partnership with Colfaturo. Um, so firstly, why study in the UK? Um, some of you, you may be considering other countries, the US, um, Europe. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about why I think um, the UK is a very good study option. Um, so more than anything, I think um, in the UK, we're, we're pretty good at making sure our students have all the support that they need um, as a student um, to make sure that they're getting the most out of their out of their, um, out of of their their studies, out of their degree, and, and then hopefully as a, as a graduate as well, to make sure they're as employable as possible when they get out into the world of of work. Um, that means as our students are very engaged, we have high completion rates. Um, we try to push um, you to have an international experience as well. So getting to meet people from all over the world, um, good employability rates as well, a brilliant student ex experience. I think the nice thing about the UK is that it's not just about coming and getting your degree. Um, it's about actually having, you know, the whole package and having a really, really good student experience. And I think ultimately, which is obviously one of the most important ones, is that it's actually recognised worldwide. Um, Um, as a, an, a very high quality education so you know that wherever you go in the world having that kind of UK uh, British degree on your CV is just going to make you um, that bit more employable um, so um, I think that's that's something that we're, we're pretty good at in the UK um, what is it that makes Essex unique so um, these are our kind of four pillars so firstly our Essex spirit so if you speak from any to anyone from Essex um, we all share this very kind of similar um, let's say I don't know enthusiasm um, we always try to you know question things and say why is it like this and not just kind of accept accept the status quo so I think that's a very kind of Essex thing um, that not just the students share but also our professors and, and, uh, and staff as well. Um, there is definitely a culture of membership at the University of Essex so from day one up until that point when you're actually alumna of the university there is this kind of um, consistent uh, feeling of membership and uh, you're a member of the Essex family so I think that's something which is which is really nice. Um, we've got uh, sort of very, a very global community and outlook so we have a very international university and we really try to push our students to be Um, sort of very global citizens of the world and try to get them involved in, um, in international experiences, learning languages um, and finally our research mindset um, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit more detail in a moment. So I think one of the nice things um, and quite unique things about the University of Essex is we're one of just 11 dual intensive universities um, that excel at both research and education. Um, so I think the nice thing is you, there are a lot of high ranked universities in the UK um, in terms of in terms of research. But it's quite unique to find a university that's very good at research, but also teaching. So um, these two kind of rankings do show that, that we do 
you know, luckily have have very good teaching, but also excellent quality of research output. So um, we were ranked top 20 in the UK in the research excellence framework and top 20 as well for our teaching excellence. Um, so this is kind of a framework set out by the government to kind of rank um, the level of teaching and research excellence. And luckily we're in the top 20. So, you know, you're going to have excellent teaching and also um, be involved in some very interesting research. We won University of the Year last year, which is something we're very proud of. Um, the Times Higher Education Awards is kind of like the Oscars of education. Um, so we were so, so, so proud to have won this last year. Um, and that's kind of due to our determination to try and do things differently. As I said to you, not always accept things as the way they are and, and not to just follow the status quo. Um, and as well as putting student success at the centre of everything we do. Um, so these are the two, one of the two reasons that we, um, that we did win University of the Year. So in terms of research, we are one of the first centres for the study of human rights in the world. Um, our staff serve in UN positions, including special rapporteur. I think that is one of the really nice things about our academics. Um, you know, they're not just doing research, they're not just academics, they are actually involved and um, they're actually working in their industries that they're teaching. So that means you can have a really, really a kind of first hand experience from, from the academics. Um, we, only ha we have the only um, UK political science department to have received the prestigious Regis Professorship, um, which was conferred by Her Majesty the Queen in 2013 um, to mark her Diamond Jubilee. Um, that's actually currently with, um, it's been appointed, uh, the professor, sorry, the Regis Professorship has been appointed um, to uh, Dr. Chris Christian Gleditch this year in our Department of um, Government um, for his work in conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. Um, we are home to the Institute of Social and Economic Research as well um, and the Institute of Analytics and Data Science. Um, we do actually have the only UNESCO chair in analytics and data science in the world um, working at the University of Essex as well and actually our five research centres do receive a lot of government funding um, you know because it is, is so prestigious we, we, uh, we're lucky to get uh, kind of support from the government as well from our research um, that we do. Um, so here is, well, here's a list of our departments. Um, so everything from, you know, uh, social sciences to um, life sciences uh, and to the humanities as well. So we do offer a huge range of courses. Um, I would say particularly in Colombia and in terms of Colfer Turo sponsored students, these are our kind of um, top and most popular courses at postgraduate level. Um, so conflict resolution is extremely popular, international relations, we've got our PhD in government as well, uh, political economy, economics and data anal anal analysis, um, and then we've got our LLMs, um, so that's a Master of Laws in Economic, Social and Cultural Rights um, and an International Human Rights Law, there's two very popular ones there. Um, and then we've got Migration Studies, which is in the Department of Sociology and Translation and Literature in our Department of Languages and Linguistics. Um, so these, I would say, are kind of the top popular courses that um, some of the students watching this now may be interested in. Um, and I think the nice thing, particularly with conflict resolution and international relations, you do have that flexibility of choosing either the MA, Master of Arts, or the Master of Science option. Um, so depending on what kind of student you are and how you'd like to be assessed, you do have that flexibility of choosing which one you, you would prefer. Um, in terms of location, so I don't know if any of you maybe have been to London, um, but we are we have three campuses um, within one hour's reach of London. So we're based in the southeast of England. Um, our main campus is in Colchester, uh, which is an hour away by the train. Um, South End is 40 miles, 40 minutes away from London, um, which is this kind of, kind of uh, famous seaside town based on the coast. Um, some facts about Essex, so it's actually one of the safest, um, we have some of the safest cities according to official surveys and also we have the lowest rainfall and highest number, highest level of sunshine. Um, so I know that's really important <laughs> for some of you guys, especially coming from, from Latin America where it's often uh, quite warm and sunny. Mm -hmm. um, so this is our beautiful Colchester campus. Um, as you can see, it's very green. We're in the countryside. Um, we have uh, so everything from accommodation, 
um, sports facilities. We have library, of course, lakes, um, a really, really nice place to be. But I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about uh, student life as well later on. Um, this is the a bit of the local area in Colchester. So Colchester is actually the oldest recorded town um, in the UK. So it does have a lot of history, a lot of culture. Um, and I mean, the population is around 150,000. So considering that we have 15,000 students, about kind of 10% of the population um, are university students, which makes it quite um, a nice kind of university uh, city. And um, this is our ca castle park, which is a um, Roman uh, castle. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, we have a 2000 year history because it is a it is the oldest recorded town. Um, we have the um, Colchester Zoo, which is actually rated one of the best zoos in the UK with over 260 animal species. Um, close to many traditional English uh, seaside resorts as well, so close to the coastline. Um, it's not quite the Caribbean, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's still uh, nice to be by the seaside and to go and have a walk, have some fish and chips or whatever you'd like to do. Um, plenty of shopping opportunities as well along the uh, kind of old cobble streets of Colchester. And I think the nice thing is also um, the, the restaurants that are on offer from, from uh, cuisines from all over the world. This is South End, so very, very different um, to Colchester um, in the way that it doesn't have this kind of um, sort of typical campus feel that we have here in, in Colchester. Um, so South End is actually based, the South End campus is sort of in the city of South End. So the, the environment and the feel of the campus is quite different, um, and but, but still very nice. So, so it has a bit more of an urban feel to it. Um, as I said, we're right by the seaside, so close to the to the beach. Um, we have so in South End we have um, Adventure Island, which is a um, a theme park as well. So um, yeah, there's always something to do there. And this is the university building um, of our South End campus, and then we've got our accommodation up here as well. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, we have our, our theme park, Adventure Island. Um, we have a museum, a planetarium, um, plenty of shopping opportunities again, and yeah, lots of restaurants as well. And I think the really nice thing um, about our two campuses is, although we are sort of based um, sort of a bit more in, in the countryside, let's say, we are one hour to London, and I think it's really it's not that easy to find this kind of um, really nice kind of countryside campus close within only one hour's reach of London. So I think that is something that we um, we are very lucky um, to have. Uh, that if you do fancy going to London on the weekend, you hop on the train and you're there within sort of 40 minutes to an hour. So um, I think that is another one of our, our strengths. Um, in terms of study facilities, we've got 24-hour computer labs, 24-hour library as well in Colchester. Um, so if you are a bit of a night owl and you prefer to study into the hours of the morning, you can definitely do so. Um, my Essex is a kind of um, online portal that we use, so that means you can access all your materials from any part of the world um, if you're if you're having to work away from home in the in the holidays. Um, we have an amazing IT help desk, so if you have absolutely anything wrong with your uh, laptop or you're trying to connect and you have some issues, uh, whatever it may be, they are always on hand to help you um, to help you there. Um, we have a university skill centre, so that means if you're looking to develop a particular skill, um, maybe you're um, not so great at maths or if you want to um, improve on your academic English, we have our skill centre that are there to kind of help you um, progress throughout your degree. Um, in terms of accommodation, so we have, um, we do guarantee accommodation on campus um, for our students. As long as you apply by the deadline, we are, you are guaranteed to have um, accommodation offered to you by the university. Um, so we have everything from um, single and up to double family rooms. Um, all of them have high speed internet connection, uh, communal kitchens and a cleaner every, um, every week. Um, and some ensuite options as well. Um, I think one of the things that I myself as an alumna of Essex really, really appreciated was the global community. So we actually have over 140 nationalities represented on campus, which is just, um, yeah, amazing. You get to sit with students that might be from, uh, you may have be sitting next to one student from Greece, you have another one from the US, someone from Brazil. And I just, I think that really contributes to the kind of um, the community and the experience that you have as a student at the University of Essex. Our staff are also from all over the world. 
which um, just makes the, the classes that little bit more interesting. 14% um, of our students are from the EU and about 22% of our students are international. Um, so that means, you know, the ratio of, of international to UK students is, is fairly even, um, which I think is also um, not so easy to find in the UK. And I think it just contributes to your experience of being in the UK, but having an international experience. In terms of student life, um, so we have our students union. So we currently have uh, 15,000 members of our students union um, with over 140 societies, 60 different sports clubs. We've got five shops, two bars, a cinema, award-winning nightclub. Um, and I think the nice thing is the students union are always there. So whatever it is that you're, um, you're not sure about, you're nervous about, you don't know who to talk to, there's always gonna be um, someone there at the students union um, based on campus to talk to and they'll always be there to kind of guide you to the right person. Um, I think the nice thing as well is from, you know, your welcome week, your first week here on campus, um, you already feel like a kind of member of the union until you uh, until you leave and you have your leavers ball in the summer. Um, so it's kind of like a big celebration when everyone gets together um, to kind of celebrate the successes of the year. And I think, um, I think the students union are very good at, at making the students feel um, like it's their kind of second home. Um, these are some of the societies that you can get involved in. Um, so normally we have a huge freshers, um, we have a, f a huge uh, society fair on the first week. So that means you can kind of go and sign up to all the clubs that you think you would like to get involved in. Um, sometimes what happens is you end up signing up to like 40 different clubs and societies. Um, in the end, you might only go to one or two. But I think the nice thing is that you've got the option there. So if you want to try uh, the debating society, you want to try a capoeira, um, or you want to try even, you know, juggling, um, the option is there. So um, the Latin American society is quite strong as well. Uh, so they're always kind of putting on different uh, sort of parties and cooking classes and stuff. So um, yeah, you'll, you'll make sure that you definitely won't be the only Latin American student at the University of Essex. Um, in terms of sports, I think the nice thing is there is something for everyone in the in the respect that if you um, you're a bit like myself, you, you just want to play, you don't want to commit to anything, you don't want to have uh, you don't want to join a club or anything like that. You can take part in just play, um, so you can just kind of do that whenever you've got a little bit of time. You might get involved in uh, tennis or or whatever it may be, and then we have Essex Blade. So if you play and you take you take your sport quite seriously. Um, you can um, kind of try to um, be part of our Essex, one of our Essex Blades teams, and that would be, mean uh, participating in the um, British uh, Universities League against other universities, so representing uh, Essex um, in sports as well. Um, it's a great way to make friends as well. So even if you, you're not particularly good, um, it's just yeah, it's just a nice way to kind of um, yeah make friends and try something new actually. Um, so these are just some of our uh, really amazing sports facilities. Um, so this is actually our um, our sports arena, uh, which holds um, I think more than like a hundred, uh, more than a thousand um, seats. So it's actually one of the largest arenas that we have in um, in the Essex region. Um, we have a gym as well. We have even a climbing wall. So yeah, all sorts of facilities: a rugby pitch, football pitch, um, tennis courts as well. So yeah, something for everyone. Um, in terms of additional support as well, I mean, we offer um, additional English support. So sometimes students arrive and they feel that maybe they just need to bring their academic English um, level a little bit higher. Um, so normally when you arrive, you, you have a bit of a, um, a kind of, you can have a session with someone and, and to assess your level and see where is it that you need to improve on. Um, which is which is really really helpful. Sometimes, if you're not used to writing English essays, that can be really a uh, helping hand. Um, we've got Nightline as well, which is actually something um, which is run by students for students. So the idea is that in the in the evenings, if you're um, you're on campus or wherever you are, and you just need someone to talk to, maybe you're feeling a bit anxious about exams, maybe you've just split up with your your boyfriend or whatever it is, um, you and you need someone to talk to. Nightline is always there. So that means. That there's someone always there at the end of the phone um, to talk to whether it's to go and have a cup of tea or you need someone to stay for the night nightline is is always there so that's a really um sort of unique service that we offer for our students and um, we've got a multi-faith chaplaincy as well on campus um, an outstanding nursery uh, which is uh, brilliant if you're thinking about coming with children, which is is actually quite common. And um, we've had quite a few PhD students come um, with their with their little ones uh, using the nursery, 
and we do have an NHS medical centre based on campus as well. So in terms of art, so we do have theatre on both of our campuses, so in, in Colchester and um, and in South End, we often put on sort of live music um, on campus, all sorts of shows as well, um, comedy, comedy, uh, comedy shows as well. There's always something going on. Um, we do have uh, Cine Ten, which is a cinema run by the students as well. So they often put films on sort of throughout the year. Um, and then we've got the art exchange, so that's where there are kind of constant um, art exhibitions going on, um, as well as Escala, which is the Essex collection of art from Latin America, which is particularly interesting if you're um, maybe interested in curating, um, as you do get a chance to kind of curate the collection as part of your degree, which is really cool. Um, and we have our own, well, the students have their own uh, newspaper and radio as well. So if you're, you feel like you, you, you fancy yourself as a little bit of a journalist, um, you can get involved in uh, writing for the newspaper or, um, or uh, being a, one of the radio presenters. Um, I think the top tip that I'd like to give you at this point is just, um, you know, if you do make it to Essex and, and or anywhere, anywhere in the UK as a student, I would just say just make sure you get involved and make the most of all of these opportunities because I think sometimes um, students arrive and they think, oh, I'll do that next, uh, next term or I'll do that, you know, but I think, you know, the time goes so quickly. It's such an intense year and I, I would just say make sure you get involved in all of these, these things and, and try new stuff and just make the most of, of this opportunity. Um, so a little bit more into um, Columbia specific information now. So uh, in terms of entry requirements for most of our master's degree, we would be looking for at least a 3.5 out of 5 in your um, licenciado from Colombia. Um, that's kind of the minimum requirement. Obviously, some courses we will be looking at more of a 3.8, 3.7, but generally to give you an idea, we'd be looking at 3.5 minimum. Um, and obviously each course has its own specific requirements. So um, you would need to sometimes have studied a particular degree in order to apply for a certain master's. Um, but all of that information is on the website. So it's always best to, to check on there. Um, and then in terms of a PhD, normally you just need, need a good master's degree um, in, a, in a relevant field related to the PhD that you're looking to, to study in. Um, and you'll also need a well-developed research proposal. Um, in terms of tuition fees from next year, um, so for our taught masters, um, the price would be from £17,900 up to £18,460. Um, and that's for the full year. So our masters are one year duration. So that will be the cost of the whole course. Um, in terms of research, um, our fees are, they start at £15,460 up to £17,900. Um, and that would be for our research um, masters. Um, and then when you get to PhD level, that would be each year of the three year PhD. PhD. Um, and then we've got our MBA, which is £20,000, and that's a one year MBA. In terms of living expenses, so that's these prices are kind of um, looking at everything so accommodation, um, food, um, books, you know, whatever it, it may be, um, we would be looking at an estimation of from £10,800 to £18,000 per year. Obviously, the majority of that is going to be on your accommodation. Um, so it really depends on which accommodation you decide to go for. If you want to look for something which is a little bit more basic, the most basic accommodation that we have, which would be the towers. So that would be um, having a shared bathroom, shared facilities, um, sharing with sort of between 12 to 15 people. And um, you'd be looking at kind of £100 per week. All of our accommodation includes um, a free gym membership as well. Um, whereas if you're looking at something like um, the keys where you have the opportunity to have your own ensuite, um, you'd be looking at kind of more uh, around 100 and 120 pounds per week. So um, obviously, depending on, on the on the accommodation you go to, the price will um, will vary. But to give you an idea, those are kind of the estimated living expenses that you would need to um, to consider. Um, as mentioned, we do have an agreement with Gol Futuro. So all of our students, uh, all of our Call for Tourist sponsored students will receive a 10% tuition fee discount. Um, and that would be both masters and PhD research students. Um, and then one lucky student will receive a 100% tuition fee discount on one taught master's program. Um, so that's yeah, any master's that is just a taught program and not a research master or a PhD. Um, 
if anyone is also kind of as they're applying to Colfatura, they're also maybe potentially considering trying to self-fund the studies if they don't happen to be successful with Colfatura. We do have some partial uh, scholarships as well that we offer. So we have an unlimited number of three thousand pounds awards. So that's uh, that counts as a kind of tuition fee discount, um, and that's if you have a four out of five in your GPA in Colombia. So anything from four above, you would receive an automatic three thousand pounds discount. That's as long as you're self-funding your studies. In terms of um, any other scholarships, we have the America's Regional Scholarship, which is also £3,000. Um, and that one, we don't ask for a particular GPA. You would just have to do a kind of, um, you have to do a bit of a personal statement and a motivational letter saying why you would like to apply for this scholarship. And then we have a Latin America Scholarship, which is just for um, translation, so MA translation, interpreting and subtitling, or MA translation and professional practice, and that's a £5,000 tuition fee discount. Um, thank you. So it was really, really nice uh, to, to share all this information with you. Um, I really hope it was useful. And if you have any questions, then feel free to get in touch. Or uh, if anyone is, is listening now, then feel free to send over your questions. Thank you so much. Okay, Kili, thank you so much uh, for all the information. I think that it has been very clear. Um, Perfect. We do have a question regarding sure. uh, if the university offers some kind of, I would say, career service in terms of if you can help our students to choose the perfect masters for them. So do you have any uh, advising program or something like that? Um, do, you mean, so do you mean at the point of when they're applying for their course? So yes, yeah. Online, yeah. They have to choose the program, of course. And if they need some advice about that, do you offer that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. So if you if you are a little bit confused about what you'd like to to study and which master is best for you, um, the best thing would be to get in touch with me directly, um, and then I can kind of help to to guide you a little bit, and if necessary, put you in touch with um, with some of our academics. They're always really happy to hear from our students and to to guide them um, in that respect in terms of which masters to study. So um, yeah, would be happy to to help with that. Okay, thank you. Um, regarding the financial aid or scholarships, our yeah. student, our Colfutur students have the option to have the agreement discount. It is um, mm -hmm. possible to have the Colfutur discount and another scholarship that you just mentioned, or would have the um, first one. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, if they apply, if they get the other scholarships, um, so they can only either have the Colfutur scholarship or the discount that I mentioned. So it's it's one or the other, you, they can't be accumulated. Um, however, I just wanted to share those scholarships in case, because I know sometimes students, they're applying for Cole Futuro, and if they don't manage to to be successful with Cole Futuro, then they can apply to these other um, other 3,000 pounds or 5,000 pounds scholarships. So there's always uh, an alternative if Cole Futuro doesn't work out. Okay, um, the next question is that, <laughs> if all the deadlines in order to apply to a program are the same for all programs or if depending on the program it may change um generally so in terms of so all of our masters they start in october so um so as they start at the same time it generally the the application deadline is the same for our phd students they can either start in august i'm um, sorry in october or in january <laughs> So that basically means that, um, that they have a little bit more flexibility in terms of when they apply. Um, our applications are always open, so you can always apply to, um, to study with us. Um, however, I would just kind of recommend that if you are considering applying, that you don't leave it um, too late, let's say. And the, the, we kind of recommend that you try to apply before the 1st of July of the year that you're planning to study. Um, the reason because of that is is just because of, you know, the visa process and everything. Sometimes it can be quite lengthy. And um, so it's always good to apply just as soon as as soon as possible. Okay, Kili, but I think that, are, that were all the questions so far. So thank you so much okay. for the information. Uh, to everyone no problem. online in this last slide is Kelly's yeah. contact details. So yeah. I don't know if you want to say something like the goodbye words or something like that. 
yeah no no that's fine um so yeah just of course there's my email address there's my instagram so whichever way you prefer to get in contact feel free to send me a message um and i'll be happy to to help you with uh with all of your doubts and, and queries and i hope to hear from you <laughs> okay thank you so much and to everyone i just want to tell you that this session was recorded and will be posted on our youtube channel so maybe next week you will have you will receive this link on your email so thank you so much to everyone and have a nice day bye thank you